We're here at the 2016 NTA Work Truck Show with Dave Hillman, General Manager of Vocational Product, product, product at International. International Trucks. And Dave, I know we've talked about the HX in the past, but there's some really revolutionary features on the HX truck. Let's start with the 12-inch frame rail on the, on the truck. That's a little bit different than what you see in the industry right now. So the, uh, the real news in the frame system with the HX series is uh, what we call our super single 12-inch rail. It's uh, half inch thick by 12 and a half inches tall. And it delivers the strength of a double 10-inch rail system in a single rail configuration. And the benefits to the end user are twofold. Uh, one is that it is, uh, saves about 13% weight over the length of chassis compared to your typical double 10 inch rail, which has the same strength. The other advantage is that it eliminates a corrosion point where if you're in a salty environment um, or, or, or an environment with a lot of humidity, you can find over time in a double rail system that moisture can get in between the two pieces of metal and can exhibit what's called corrosion jacking over time, which spreads the two rails mm -hmm. apart, and the single uh, rail eliminates that. Now, is there any difference in strength between a, a super single rail and the traditional double rails that we see in the industry? Uh, typically, uh, typically they match up about, about spec for spec. So a, the super single really is going to go in the place where a lot of folks have used a double 10-inch rail system in the past. So again, you have to look at all the uh, all the exact dimensions of the rails because when we say 10 inch, it might mean 10 and 3 eighths, and someone else might mean 10 and a half. So um, you really do have to look at the specs. But when your customer is considering something where they have an application that needs uh, three and a half million RBM, that's where the super single really comes into play. It can meet that criteria in a single rail design, and it's the biggest in the industry. In a frame rail design, how significant is the 13% weight savings on the rail itself? So for a lot of customers, that's very significant, right? Mm -hmm. So every uh, uh, every pound that you save out of the chassis is a pound mm -hmm. that the customer can carry in payload in a lot of applications. So when we can deliver that, that strength that they need to do the job, and save 13% out of uh, several hundred pounds out of the rail system, that's, that's a big impact to their business and their bottom line. Okay, and I also understand in terms of cu customer comfort, comfort has also been a focus on the HX series. Yes. I understand you got something revolutionary when it comes to the truck to isolate the customer from the... We, we have a, a few things that, that we highlight about the, uh, the HX series. So it's, it's delivering our proprietary driver first cab suspension. Okay. So it's, um, it's, a, it's a cab air suspension and what we've done with the, uh, the location of the springs, we've improved the ride versus uh, outgoing product, and also uh, taking weight out. So again, another opportunity to save weight for customers. And at the same time, we provided additional clearance. So for applications that use a rear engine power takeoff, there's a lot of room to mount that equipment without interrupting the, uh, the design of the uh, suspension itself. So helps the driver out, you know, whether or not it's in a, in a rear engine power takeoff application or not uh, by delivering good, good smooth ride. Okay, it seems like that's a common theme across the HX series. I keep hearing weight savings, weight savings. Has that really been the primary focus? So, so weight savings, uh, driver-centric, um, are, are were probably the two two biggest callings of the HX series. So, saving weight, uh, we looked for ways to be smart about the design. So, customers need a truck that performs and gets punished and so it has to be durable. It has to have the endurance to last for 12 or more years in a punishing environment. Uh, but when, when I say being smart about it, it's taking pounds out where we could and still meet those endurance requirements. So it's still a durable product. It's still a very durable product, going through all of our battery of testing. Uh, then the, um, the driver-centric part comes around improved visibility, Mm -hmm. uh, best line of sight towards the ground, improved driver comfort, both with a spacious cab and also the smooth ride out of the driver first cab air suspension. Well, David, thanks a lot for taking time to... Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks for coming by.